people want you to do as I say, not as I do. And, um, and that's a problem. It's something many drivers admit they do blowing through a red light. 85% of the people we surveyed said that running red lights is, is an extremely dangerous behavior, yet about a third of those people admitted to doing that in the last 30 days. In fact, Clay Ingram with AAA Alabama says the number of people killed in red light crashes is at a 10 year high and up 28% since 2012. Nearly half of those killed were passengers or people on the receiving end of the crash. The reason, Ingram says, is in part to people not packing their patients. Some people feel like they don't have to play by the rules and, uh, and that they can get away with it and that they're not going to get pulled over for that. So why not uh, try to make it through that red light and not have to sit there? But that's, uh, that's not a good uh, attitude about that. While you may not have control over what other drivers may do, Ingram says the best advice is to drive defensively and know the risk is out there. And if we don't come out and tell people, hey, there's a, a huge increase in the, the number of red light crash fatalities uh, over the last, uh, you know, nine or 10 years, then nobody's going to know. Amanda DeVoe, WKRG News 5.